Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Friday the 22nd of June. Each day I take what, just one of our signals from our Wave5 Trade membership area and set it up for you. So basically in our membership area we have our members for long fifth wave trades, short fifth wave trades, stochastic longs and stochastic shorts. I'm going to be looking at a long trade today. Um, each day we have the availability to download the day spreadsheets with the signals. The members just simply click on the image and download the spreadsheet. So the spreadsheet for today looks something like this. This is the daily time frame. We also have signals for the weekly time frame, so the longer term swings. And then on the intraday, on the six minute time frame, we've got some uh, swing trading opportunities on the six minute time frame for long. But today I want to concentrate on the daily. And uh, I started from the bottom. Uh, this time I've gone PEB, Pedalbrook Hotel. So let's have a look at PEB on the chart. So this is our Wave 5 Trade Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim platform. Uh, we also have it available for Ninja Trader, Trade Station, and the multi charts. So, first of all, before I go ahead, for our members that have the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, my isolation this is the daily time frame, the two year, one day. Um, my isolation is at this low here at bar 442. So, that's where we'd isolate the start of the wave count. Uh, at these lows <clears throat> and then our indicator suite automatically assigns the wave count one two three and four into our pullback zones so let's discuss a little bit more just about the filters for this data for for the indicate for the scanner results and the obviously the um, members area so what we do is we first one is the wave for pullback uh, that's found really good support in our green pullback zone here. So that's an 85% probability. If that support is held, uh, it will go on and make a new wave 5 high into our automated target zone up here at around about 42.74 in blue. The next filter is the 535 oscillator. Now this is quite big here. Um, but basically, as you can see, with the, the oscillator's crowned, it's come back down, and it's just popped below the 90%. So we, and when it opens today, it'll be around about zero. You can see the red there from yesterday. So it has pulled back between 90 and 140%. Our stochastic is the third filter for the signals um, data. Uh, as you can see on the top here, we've got these false breakout dots in yellow, denoting a very strong bullish move. The stochastics pulled back against there and crossed over in the oversold zone. Now, it, it, it is most likely to go back to that um, false bar because it's a strong bullish trend. So it's like an elastic band. When it pulls back against it, it wants to return. So let's go and set this up. So I've zoomed in quite big here. Uh, but the main thing is yesterday we had a nice solid green candle, pretty solid there. Good move up from these wave four lows. Now we're looking for an entry for Friday. We need to be really quite conservative. So we need to be outside the 6-4 moving average high. This is part of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. And these are for entries. So the green moving average high here is for entries for long. And the red moving average high is for entries for moving short. Here we're on the long. So we want to be outside of the 6-4 uh, moving average high. I want to be uh, reasonably um, aggressive out of here today if because we had got that momentum starting yesterday and just above the whole $40 mark as well. So 40.07 is the entry for long on PEB. The stop loss is just below the wave 4 low there. So 38.41 is the stop loss. And then the target is 42.71 or into this, you know, the upper bound of this uh, target zone is 42.93, about $43. So our risk to reward into there is 1 to 1.6 into the target zone. So a decent risk reward, a good entry. We've had a really great four pull, uh, wave four pullback here. And this is what our signals do. Uh, membership has for the 60 minute, the daily and the weekly time frame both long and short. So that's it for today. Have a great training day and a great weekend and I'll speak to you all on Monday.